Hello everyone, this is Skylimit Heights and welcome back to episode 6, part 2 of Scratch Basics. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, I'd advise you to do so because part 2 is a continuation of the game I made in part 1. The link to episode 6 part 1 will be in the description below if you guys want to watch it. Just a quick recap before we start. In part 1 we basically made a player that can move around and it points to wherever your mouse is. If you click, then the player shoots a bullet. So in this episode, we're gonna add a little twist to the game by adding a zombie. Let's first make the sprite for the zombie. And call that zombie. And as you can see, I already set the color to dark green. You can see the color saturation brightness if you want the exact color. Or you can just make your own color if you want. It doesn't really matter what color zombie you have. I'm going to make it a bit smaller than the player. But I'm going to make the format the same. I'm going to make it have it two little circles for hands. Like that. And if you want to zoom in, uh, you can just press that zoom in button. And zoom out like that. So now we have our zombie. We want it to actually start moving. Let's make it so that it follows the player around. Drag a when green flag clicked block into our workspace. And then drag a go to random position block under it because we want the zombie's start position to be random. After that, we want it to move in the direction of the player. There's actually a point towards block in the move section or in the motion section and we can make it point towards player, forever point towards player. And then after that, we want it to move forward. So just make it move 10 steps. Or actually that's too fast. Let's make it move two steps. So now you can see that zombie is moving towards us. Kinda creepy, eh? But, yeah. So, as you can see, if I shoot it though, like when we try shooting it, it doesn't do anything. We haven't programmed that part yet, so we need to do that. Instead of a forever block, we actually want to put a repeat until block because we don't want it to walk forever. We want it to like stop once it gets hit by a bullet. So drag a repeat until block and then go to sensing and then drag a touching block in here and then switch that to bullet. So if it's touching a bullet, it'll stop doing all of this. When green flag clicked, let's shoot it. Now you can see the zombie actually stopped. But what if we want the zombie to disappear as well? We can go to looks and just simply drag a hide block right underneath the repeat until block. We also want the bullet to hide. So instead of repeat until touching edge, we want it to be repeat until touching edge or touching mouse pointer. Or I mean touching zombie. So if the bullet touches a zombie, we want it to disappear as well. So now let's test this. As you can see, the zombie disappeared, but the bullet disappeared. The bullet didn't disappear. Now that's because the zombie is disappearing too fast for the bullet to even render that it's touching the zombie. So therefore, it doesn't know that it's touching the zombie, and it'll just keep moving forward. Same for the zombie. The zombie, if we make it high, if we make the bullet high too fast, then the zombie will not know that it's touching the bullet. So to do that, we want to add wait, wait commands in both um, scripts for the bullet and the zombie. And let's make it wait 0.04. That's a good time. And also in the bullet script, we also want to put a wait there. So they're both delayed for a little period of time, and but that's like not able to be seen like that's barely uh, any time and once the zombie gets hit by the bullet and the bullet like touches the zombie they'll wait uh they'll delay a little bit so they can register that they hit each other and then they can both disappear so now let's test this oh yeah we have to make the zombie show in the beginning of course because we always need the zombie show. Okay, now let's shoot the zombie. 
you can see that the zombie disappeared and the bullet disappeared. Actually, let's make the bullet a bit faster because I think the bullet's a bit too slow. Change the 20 to 40. And now when we shoot the zombie, it actually disappears. What if we want it to be like once you shoot the zombie, a new zombie appears? Instead of hiding the zombie, we just want it to go to another random position. So you can just simply delete that and then put a forever loop around this um, statement, this whole chunk of code. So now when we shoot the zombie, it should, yeah, it should go to another zombie. Almost looks like it's teleporting. So if we don't want that teleport to happen, we can wait 0 0.04 and then make it hide. And then we want it to wait one second before a new zombie appears. So now when you shoot the zombie, it should die and then a new zombie appears. Shoot that. New zombie appears. Shoot that. And new zombie appears. Shoot that. All right, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And comment down below if you want to see part three, where we add health and more zombies. All right, that's it. See you in the next episode. Bye.